everyone, welcome to Vogue Genesis. Today we have, we have with us uh, Najana actor. He's going to talk a little bit about him. Uh, good evening, Emeka. How are you doing today? I'm good, I'm great. Yeah. Why you are here in USA? I'm here to make my first Hollywood movie with some Hollywood stars and crew. That's why I'm here. Okay, and uh, you want to know more, a little bit about you. Uh, are you married? Yes, I'm a Kaike is married. Right? Okay, and do you have any children? With three boys. Okay. And uh, you want to know, uh, do, do you learn about um, to be an actor at school or do you learn on, the, on your job? I learned on the job. I did engineering. I read mechanical engineering in school. But, um, you know, Africa, job proximity and all that. And so I got involved with this and I was able to make a good point and people liked my job and they were like, oh man, you rock. And I kept doing it and doing it and that's been it. Okay. And um, the actor in Nigeria, they are well recognized. I, it's so awesome that I could walk into um, a shop, um, a gas station, in Laurel or in Bowie and white people can say, hey, we see you in the movies, not just the black people now. Like it happened last night again, some Caribbean, some, you know, people from the uh, Caribbean, Jamaicans, like, hey, we watch a lot of your movies. So if we have gone beyond just the African recognition, to international recognition. I think it's awesome. We properly recognized. And do the actor uh, gain enough to leave from their job? Oh, yes, yes. Um, we are not as big as Hollywood, per se, uh, the kind of monies they make. But I can assure you that uh, the monies we make and the way we do our thing, see, the thing is, you can make a movie in Hollywood and you're not working for one year. And you're not working for six months. But in Hollywood, you, you're working every day. It's like you're employed. And if you can make like $20,000 in a week, you know, that's some money. That's some money if you want to use it well. We are making money. It's not everybody, but if you're a star actor and you can push a jacket, you can sell your product. And people know oh, this is a strong face and good money. Okay, and if it's not too personal, uh, how much do you make by movie? Sorry, I will not say that it is personal, but <laughs> you go to the um, marketers mm -hmm. and you ask them, how do you pay these artists? Then they will give you the breakdown. Okay, thank you. And uh, some people think that, you know, um, the African movie is more about, you know, is all about the quantity and not the qualities. What do you think about that? I think quality starts from quantity. Do you think quality really that? From quantity, you know. You see, even when Hollywood started, they started worse than us. They had worse crisis than we are having now. Okay, but you see, when you're starting, you you have to focus on so many. You make so many mistakes, and then by the day you learn, and you're getting better, and that's where quality is coming in. You know, so don't decry the quantity because the quantity is pushing the product into prominence and then the awareness and acceptance is the market that will sell the quality you don't think that if you focus more on the quality of the movie and not the quantity it would be better for the african movie market we're on different pages i've said i've not said it's wrong to focus on quality I mean, that's what we should be doing, clean, beautiful movies. But because we are starting from the grassroots, these are individual businessmen. They don't have government backups. They don't have insurance for what they do. They just love the trade. They love the business. They love the show. And they spend their money to do these things. They could lose. They could make double their money. They could make a hundred times their money. It's a gamble. So the terrain is as rough as that. So when you're saying if it is um, 
qualitative, qualitative or quantitative, I'd rather subscribe that the more things you do, the better you become. If you do a million quality movies and there's no acceptance, it can as well be as lack of. But basically, quality is what we're driving for. But I don't want us to rub off the fact that we're starting well from the grassroots and we're starting the way normally an industry should start. And so far, we've done well with our quantity. We have made our impact all over the world. You go to the far Europe, the white man that is married to the black lady watches our movies. The white lady married to the black guy says, Igwe, you know, we are selling our message, sending our messages, we are selling our points, we are selling our culture. So, but right now, what we need to do is step up. We need to begin to add those things that makes it a very nice dish, all the spices, and begin to garnish it and tell Hollywood that they don't have stories. Because right now, we are number two in the world. You say Bollywood, you say Nollywood, you say Hollywood. But Hollywood has all the equipment that we don't have. What is selling us? We have good stories. We have realistic stories. Mind-bending stories. Hollywood lost it when they went to the skies, went to the space, and they saw some alien creature that came down and started killing everybody. And they keep doing this and over and over and over again. And it's no more making sense because we can't relate with it. So we make movies that you can relate to it. Like a gist. Hello, did you hear? Like the next, next door gist. So we, we are okay. We, we're starting well. And we're actually faster than Hollywood in recovering. Because they spent longer time in the mess we are in now than we are spending in it. And we're coming out so fast. So I think... Very soon. People should not write off Nollywood. Very soon Nollywood will make its African point. Okay, and uh, do you think that uh, most of some actors, African actors, should come and work in Hollywood, you know, even to learn some experience and to, you know? Yes, we, we, we need to, there needs to be a collaboration between mm -hmm. the two industries. But Hollywood is too arrogant. Hollywood or Nollywood? Hollywood is too arrogant okay. to embrace Nollywood. They feel, what, what do I care? You know, and I don't think I want to go beg Warner Brothers to market me. I'm, a, I'm, an, I'm an international mic product. I'm a brand. It will get to the point where they will meet us. Same with Indian movies, Bollywood. They were doing what they had to do. Then when you discover the viability in what they are doing. They would come for us. They would come running because it's all about business. You want them to come to see, uh, to, you know, to meet you, to meet African actor, but do you think that you, African actor, will learn more from them? We don't need to go to Hollywood to learn from them. We can learn from the normal internet. We can learn from the normal my materials that are available from us we have place we have instructors we have we can go to the latest equipment google them on wherever i know what they do and all that we know we have a pattern of shoot you understand me mm -hmm. all we need is the gadgets the technicalities the fund if we have the fund give me the fund hollywood will come to learn from us Thank you. And um, today, everybody wants to be an actor. You know, w which advice can you give to, you know, someone to be successful as an actor? Be yourself. Don't try to be your mentor or your role model, because we all have role models. My role model is Bruce Willis, but I don't act like him. Don't try to be what you're not. Be free, be flexible. Read, learn every day. And the rest will be left to your director. Thank you very much, Emika, for your time.
Gudrotan in Nigeria.